Hi, this is Chris Tuttle, IFBB Pro, Universal Athlete. Um, I'm here to discuss a little bit about branching amino acids. Um, uh, my background in nutrition, uh, I have my master's in nutrition dietetics, I have my master's in nutrition, um, and my thesis was done on uh, protein supplementation, uh, which included and reviewed many studies with branching amino acids with uh, athletes, uh, both aerobic and anaerobic. Um, I'm just going to go over a little bit of anecdotal evidence and research, all right? Um, so when I first got started with branch chains was actually 2013, uh, leading up to uh, my second national show, which was nationals, which I turned pro. And um, during the whole process, I had to reach a phase where I was more concerned with making weight versus really uh, being too concerned with um, you know holding mass or whatever. I just need to make weight. And uh, around four weeks out. I had, I was like 223, and I needed to be 198 uh, in four weeks uh, to make the weight class I was entering. And so during the time of just doing tons and tons of cardio, keeping the calories very, very low, I wanted something else to give me a boost that wasn't calories or stimulant. Um, so I remember from my research that, you know, brain exchange uh, helped do a variety of things uh, for exercise, such as like, prevent fatigue and kind of get help performance. So I used to uh, pick up a branch chain and drink during my workout. Um, this is during a time where I was eating nothing but chicken, uh, vegetables, no added fats, no fat meats, nothing else. Just chicken, vegetables, six times a day, two and a half hours of cardio a day. Um, and upon starting branch chains, I actually noticed a boost in the gym. And it, it, a boost in the gym almost kind of simulated what you feel if you drink Gatorade or sugar during a, a, like an aerobic event where you can maintain performance for a duration of time. Um, and before that, it seemed though, every time I entered the gym, I'd be really tired to begin with when you're dieting you know, for a show. And then as I started to, to warm up, I'd feel better, and then I'd get worse again. With the brand's chains, I was like, get better, 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 almost with the whole entire workout. So personally, I know anecdotal evidence is not everything, but it, it's personally, I, I couldn't believe how much it, I felt it. And, and obviously sometimes supplements, you can really tell which ones work, which ones don't during a time of deprivation like that. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of research too. Um, there's a couple studies done, you know, with athletes and things like that, um, and showing you know promising benefits to the athlete. But there's also an interesting one is um, a group of people with a calorie, a moderate calorie reduction diet. Um, they maintain their strength and lost body fat on a calorie reduction diet over a 12 week period of time, showing that branch chains help maintain performance, hold muscle, lost lean body mass, uh, lost uh, fat mass. So that's another thing, kind of demonstrating a little bit kind of what I went through. Um, I ended up making weight, by the way, and it ended up working out for me. Um, so what are branch chains? Branch chains um, are made up of isoleucine, leucine, and alvaline. Those are the three most important ones. Now, leucine is the one that's been researched the most because it's high oxidation rate. So a lot of researchers really point to L-leucine. Everybody kind of knows what HMB is or heard of that. It's kind of like a hop-up version of L-leucine where you know, it's more expensive, but it's a more concentrated dose. But branch chains work the same exact way. Um, muscle tissue in the body, your body is made up of one third, one third of the muscle tissue is made up of leucine. Um, and uh, during a balance of exercise, such as strength training, uh, anaerobic training, the body can see up to a reduction of 30% in plasma leucine levels. So it goes to demonstrate how much of that you actually use and burn up during a strenuous event, uh, especially anaerobic. Aerobic, you see a drop in plasma leucine levels as well, but not quite as great as strength training. Um, and some of the benefits we've seen with um, the research has showed is prevent fatigue, increase, increase mental uh, performance, which is funny is everybody who's played sports knows that towards the end of the game you start getting more tired, more mental fatigue. The more mental fatigue you get from, say, temperature outside, humidity, just overexertion, you start to make mistakes. And brain change actually showed to kind of delay that and kind of help slow down that progression. Um, other things are reduces muscle breakdown, catabolism during workouts, um, helps stimulate protein synthesis so you can heal, rebuild faster, and it also spares glycogen, which kind of is inadvertently effect of increasing performance for duration. So if you spare glycogen, you got more kind of more fuel tank. Um, where are they found? Branch chains are in every protein source we eat, and the amounts can vary five to ten percent. Um, some of the uses that we know branch chains use other than lifting in the medical field. There's sepsis, burns, trauma. Um, it can help kind of slow down the loss of appetite in elderly patients on dialysis or other kidney issues. 
um, and some liver problems as well. So there's other things that branch chains have been shown to use medical field that help prevent muscle wasting in certain cases. So it's not just something that a fabrication of a supplement is giving you, say, a false promise. There's actually been sound research that still uses today in the medical field. Um, and then there's, uh, so brings us to the next question is how much do we need and what is a good dose, when to take them, so to speak. Most research points at taking branch chains before, uh, during, is the most beneficial. Um, and in other cases, people have been drinking them throughout the whole day, giving a constant supply of leucine. Um, so that's, you know, it's not much too much research pointing to that's the most beneficial, but definitely before and during. And this brings us to how much. Um, on average, an average human being needs, now this is not a particular uh, athlete or a special individual or an indication of a disease or anything, 68 milligrams per kilogram of body weight. That's total 20 hour period of time, including protein sources you get from the food. Um, and some research says that it might be grossly underestimated and we need up to 144 milligrams per kilogram of body weight of total branch chains in a day. Now that doesn't really answer our question of how much of this we need in a day. Um, and obviously research out there is still questioning where, where's the best dose to be. Um, personally, I like to do four to six grams during my workout. I usually only really do it during my workout personally, um, and usually because to my body weight, I try to average four to six grams of a leucine. So when I look in the label, and I see here that it has leucine, which is four grams is one scoop. So I'll do one and a half scoops of this uh, during my workout. Um, and I, I seem to, I love it a lot. Sometimes I don't have it during a long leg workout, I definitely know the difference. Um, and then, you know, Atomic 7 is one of my favorites because it has a high amount of leucine serving and it actually tells you on the back how many grams it is. Some products won't even tell you. We'll just say six grams of branch chain. It's like, okay, great. Well, what's the breakdown? So this is my favorites. And then this also has valine, glutamine, citrulline malate, and altorine, which I won't go into now and I'll go into another time. But uh, branch chains are probably my favorite uh, supplement of all time, especially during contest prep for uh, lung bounce cardio training. Um, I definitely always rely on this to help move whole muscle tissue while I shed the body fat. And that is it for today, and uh, I will go into more about the other ingredients at a later date.